in the name of my ancestors. Peace forever and always, and welcome to another edition of the Realities Temple on Earth Internet Ministry. Of course, I am the gatekeeper or the host of this particular program, known here on the internet as the mighty, the mighty, the mighty, and you're snapping up seven. Mm. I am your brother, and hopefully your friend, Talik Ibn Ra. I remember a few years ago, and I really don't know who it was. I do know I was speaking with a male, and this brother, we were talking, and this brother said to me, he said, Brother Talik, I think, this is just my personal opinion, I think that you are a loner. I think that you do better doing things by yourself. And I said, you were 1000% correct. Although I speak on YouTube, although I have been on stages in this country, being a comedian, I have performed, sung and danced before not thousands, but many hundreds of people. I have spoken in front of hundreds of people. I am a loner ever since I was a child because of the situation that I was, I had to deal with as a child. I found myself feeling better being by myself along with my animal friends, my dog or pet chicken or whatever. I always have felt better by myself. So why do I show my face on YouTube? Why did I sing? Why did I dance? Why did I tell the jokes? Why did I do all these different things? I told the jokes and I sung a dance and I wanted to be an entertainer because I love to see people smile. I love to see people happy. And my song and my dance and my jokes and things of this nature, it made people happy and it brought joy to a person who was a loner with a lonely heart. That was my joy. And I do the same here in doing this ministry. Although loneliness, of which I love, some of you think that's bad and we're going to talk about that. Although loneliness is my comfort zone, I am willing to give up being lonely in order to bring to us a word that will help us so that we won't be lonely, so that we can create positive people better people, or stronger people, people with content of character, all these different things that y'all talk about. But in this world, filled with materialism, in this world where everybody's dog eat dog, you're not going to find that. It's better to be lonely and get away from the savages than rather be around them and end up as their prey. So, Yes, I am a loner, but I also have a love for people, and I do enjoy being around people who have the correct state of mind, but I know and understand that in this world, we are surrounded by sick people, sick people in your family, your wife becomes sick, your children sick, the president of the United States is sick. So since I cannot run into a cave and become a hermit, then I just stay to myself and avoid all these issues brought to me by the sick. Look at you on YouTube when you come into the public. People talk about you for no reason. You don't even have to make a video. And some sucker will make fun of you and talk about you and just try to guess. You're living among savage, 
savage, functional, illiterate, drunks, pedophile, who knows what you're surrounded by. You have to build a ring of fire around yourself to keep these savages away from you. Because not only will they talk about you, but some of them will seek to take your life. So, coming on social media, for some of us who make videos, we get death threats just because of our opinion. But when I am alone, when I stay to myself, all these issues are void. All these issues I don't have to worry about. It's just me and my thoughts and my trying to reach out to the creation and understand life until this life leaves this physical flesh. The human being, it seems as though we have been conditioned. I'm not going to say that it's natural, but I'm going to say as human beings, we see and it seems as though we are social beings. We prefer to be among family. We prefer to be married to somebody in a relationship. And some of y'all, you become obsessed with relationship. I got to have me a man. I got to have me a woman. We are family oriented. Let's have a family reunion. Let's get together as family. In the animal kingdom, when you see family among mammals, it is, in a, it is in a family setting. Just like many human beings, you have aunts and uncles and brothers and sisters in, in a family setting. Most of these times that you see these things in nature, it is due to survival. Because the more eyes, the more noses, the more animals you have in this pack, the better it is to look, to look out for danger. And if this is the case, then if we are family, then how come we're not looking out for one another as family? We have all these family, and some of our family is in prison. Some of our family is homeless on the street. Some of our family is doing bad. You would rather them be homeless on the street than live with you because family can't get along. But y'all want family. So something is wrong. Family should be something that benefits us so that we are better equipped to survive. However, there is an opposite side whereas you have animals who come together. They don't live as family. The male and the female will come together just to have a sexual uh a sexual, how you might say it, a one night stand or whatever. And that's it. Then the female goes her way. The male goes his way. Some of y'all do that also. So when some of us talk about we need family, two parent households, could you explain to me how come a male and a female animal can come together and then the male goes his way, the female goes their way, but the female will have those babies and she will raise male and female with no problem. And the male that she raised knows exactly what to do as a male. Explain that to me. You don't know what you're talking about. You just out here making up answers for things that you don't understand. But nature, if you examine nature, instead of examining the unnatural, nature will give you the answer. That any answer that you wish, most of it is already here. And for that, what you really want to know will come forth from the womb of a woman sooner or later. Will bring you the answer to whatever you're thinking about. The only thing that you need in this life is food. Water and shelter. Probably don't even need shelter. You can be a nomad and just 
live under a tree and go to the next tree or build temporary shelters. But you don't have to have sex. That is not a necessity. That's an option. But y'all have become so sexually charged and obsessed. You think that's unnecessary. And it's not. You think that you have to sleep with somebody. I got to have me a man. I got to have me a woman. You ain't got to have. You don't have to have that. You will live. You will survive very good without that. That's optional. It is better to be alone than in the company of a fool. We live in an environment surrounded by fools and idiots. Some of these fools have money. Some of them don't. And above all, you may not even recognize that you are an idiot, that you are a fool. So fools and idiots can't live good together. And you see this in this environment all over this planet. A bunch of fools trying to live together. Selfish. Materialistic. Individualistic. Mentally sick. Believing in all kinds of fairy tales and fiction. Childish and infantile. But however, those of us who understand these things and want to leave and stay away from the savages, Although we might crave the man, we might crave the woman, we want to be with somebody, but we understand it's better to be alone than in the company of a fool, and there's less problems, because when you start messing with fools, here come the problems, and that's why y'all spend all your day on YouTube crying and whining, filled with problems. I can't do. They won't do. Why this? Why that? Over and over you. And you spend your mind trying to find answers to problems you will never have. We come into this world alone. You don't come into this world with a wife or a husband. You don't come into this world thinking about no sex or getting drunk and all this other stuff y'all try to present you call say to have fun. You come into this world alone. And you will die alone. Your wife is not going to go with you. Your children are not going to go with you. You're going to die alone. Even twins that come into this world. They develop together. But they come into this world alone. You come into this world by yourself. And you will leave this world by yourself. So what is the big uproar? I got to have me a man. I got to have me a woman and children. You ain't got to have none of that stuff. Those are optional. And when you get these things, they bring you more headaches and problems because you come into a world filled with idiots and fools. People that suffer from these mental problems. I want to have children so they can take care of me. Some of y'all are blessed with children. When you get older, they will take care of you. However, all over this nation, rich and poor, middle class, you have old people in nursing homes and ain't nobody taking care of them except people who are being paid to do that. So you run around, I, I, I want to have all these children so, so, so somebody can take care of me. And you land up in a nursing home, somebody is being paid to give you a bath and feed you and all like that. And you had all these children and they don't give a dang about you for real. Because they got or they have their life to live. Alone. When you spend time with yourself for a change. Instead of running around trying to be with somebody else. Alone makes it possible so that you can finally understand who you are. What is your purpose in life? How can you enjoy this little life that you have instead of running around trying to get together with other people? Because when you share your life with others, that means you have to compromise who you are. You have to learn what they are about. You don't have to be alone. 
There are billions and billions of people on this planet. You don't have to be alone. But we understand that this world is sick. You understand it. Some of you are in denial. And some of us are sick ourselves and we, we would rather blame others. There's a problem with everybody on the planet except us. However, it is a fact. And with no doubt, in this civilization, in the current condition of this planet, it makes no difference where you go, makes no difference who you mess with. They have serious mental problems. They suffer from greed and arrogance. Individualism, drunkenness, pedophilia. You live in a sick, sick world. And that's something we, we don't want to admit or confess. You're thinking that you live in some type of natural life. But again, one should not feel bad. You should not feel depressed. Because you single and lonely? You should not. There's nothing wrong with it. Because you came into this world alone. And you will leave alone. And those who you leave behind, they can cry. They can weep. They can look at your photo. But when it's all said and done, It's over. They cannot come with you. They can only dream about it. And that's the thing about religion. Religion gives us an opportunity so that we can imagine. Because we don't know about any afterlife. So religion helps comfort us when we lose the people that we socialize with. Because one day, we know this social connection is going to come to an end. We know this. But we don't want to accept it. But we know. And whether you accept it or not, it's our reality. Been going on for hundreds of years. And it has never stopped. Or changed for nobody. And nobody has ever come from the other side to tell us how it was. So basically what I'm saying to us. If you can find somebody to love, please do. If you can find somebody to share your life with, please do. That, that is a good thing. I love to see people who have found somebody who is compatible and they are sharing their life with a friend to walk this journey called life with. However, that's an option and we should not be so obsessed with this. And some of you, you have shared your life with somebody and you caused life to be born. And you have children in this world. So really your life is over. And you should be concentrating. On what is in the best interest of your babies. Instead of trying to. Pleasure your loins. You are, you've already done that. You have these children. That you have to take care of. And we have black people. The descendants of slaves. Born in America. You are so obsessed with pleasuring your flesh in your massa house. How can y'all lay down and y'all just sexing each other in your massa house? You live in a house that you don't make no laws. You did not create nothing. You just live in here. But you, you have to pay the rent. There are animals 
when you take them to the zoo, they will stop having sex because they were not, and it's just instinctive, they're not going to do something to bring their babies into the zoo. So the zookeepers have to use artificial insemination and all this other stuff to try to make these animals have babies. Here you are. You know the condition that we are in. And you just breathing and just happy in your mama's house in the zoo. And you single and you lonely. But many of y'all have babies. Your life as an adult begins with your children. And your number one priority should be those babies. And those babies need a country. They need a nation. They need land. They need something for you to give them something. Provide for them. That's what adults do. Your life is no longer your life. Your life belongs to your children. Since I am single and have no children, you would think that's not my responsibility. However, I am incorrect. As an adult person, even though I don't have children, I am still responsible for all the children that are born in my species, in my race so-called race. I still have a responsibility to help them live better and do better than how we are living. That's what adults do. And any adult animal in a family setting, whether they have babies or not, you will see those animals doing whatever they can to help nurture and raise those babies. They don't care anything about their life. So really, I am not lonely. Your child is my child. Your son is my son. Your daughter is my daughter. Your uncle is my uncle. We are family. However, I can avoid a lot of the drama trying to help raise the children but not really socialize because some of y'all are out of your mind. You shouldn't have no children laying up in the house of the masa. And if you're a strong man and understand that you have to, you may have to go to war and do certain things in order to free us as a people, why you want to lay around and have babies when you could be dying in the next few minutes? You want to have a family and a, you planning a future in the house of your slave master and their children who have no intent to give you free of uh, freedom, justice, and equality as long as they are in control. So either you conquer your enemy, you separate from your enemy, or y'all just admit y'all some modern day, comfortable, back scratching where you don't itch, stepping fetching slaves. Just admit you're a slave and, and just be done with it. If you if you tell me you're a slave, then what, what else can I say? I said, well, they, they admit. Some of you are in denial. If you're a slave, just say, hey, I just, I just accept things the way they are. If I'm a slave, so be it. It ain't no if you are a slave. Just call it as it is. I'm a slave. And I would defend my massa. Just admit it. Because I want my master to look good upon me so I can continue for master to give me certain privileges. Just, just admit it. That's all we have to do. Instead of living in denial. I am not your slave. So I'm not going to act and behave like a slave. And so my attitude is strange for those who have decided to submit to slavery. A person who is comfortable in the jail, when people start talking about, I'm breaking out of here, I'm getting out. They look at the people who want to break out of the jail. Are you crazy? It's impossible. 
See, that's how you talk. You'll never be free. You'll never do this. We'll never do that. Even though it seems impossible. That don't mean I'm not going to stop trying. Because as soon as you stop trying, then there is no possibility. But as long as you continue to try, the possibility is there. And those who enslave, those who, who capture, they want you to just get comfortable. Because then that makes their job much easier. They don't have to watch you no more. They don't have to improve security. Well, you're going to always have to keep an eye on me. You're always going to have to try to improve security. Because this is one trapped animal that's going to try to get out of the cage instead of be comfortable. I don't like this cage. I'm not going to get comfortable in this cage. You can give me a million dollars. You can give me gold and silver. You can give me a record deal. You can give me all the things you think that I might want. But when it's all said and done, I'm scratching at the bars, banging at the bars, digging in the, in the soil, digging in the floor, trying to get out. Because I'm not your slave. I understand what slavery is. A slave exists only for the benefit of his or her master. And all these, the reason why the black community suffers is because whatever we are of benefit does not benefit us. It benefits other people. It benefits either Caucasian people, Arabs, the Chinese, Japanese, whoever is in the community. Whatever we are does not benefit us because we are slaves. Somebody is a parasite. Sucking our blood dry. Used by other people. We die. We die so others can live. We are surrounded by vampires. That have been sucking our blood for a long, long time. And you should stop thinking about, about, about panties. Stop thinking about drawers. And suck it on somebody. And set yourself free. And be a man. And a real woman. A real man and a real woman. Instead of some damn porn addict. I'm lonely. I'm single and alone. Ain't no men. Ain't no women. And if these men and women are not trying to. As they say. Break out of the matrix. If they're not seeking separation from an oppressive people. If they're not trying to do those things. Then you need to continue to just suffer. And you want to be part of them. Then you need to stay here and continue to whine and cry. When you, can become, you, when you and I can become part of something. That we can be remembered for as long as people exist. These are the ones. That finally broke the grip. Of Willie Lynch. These are the ones. That finally broke. The grip. Of slavery. Once and for all. You and I should be prideful in that. We done the impossible. And it is in you. But you concentrate. So much on yourself. And you're not thinking about what is in the best interest of our babies and future generations. And you have children. You would think somebody single and lonely that don't have any children. That's the way they should think. They don't have no children. But here you are. One child, two children, three, four and more. And you don't care nothing about their future for real. Only satisfying your penis or your vagina. And you lonely. You weren't lonely when you got those babies and now you don't care nothing about their future. And you really truly believe that this world is not sick. And you one of them. Because there's nothing wrong with being single and alone. 
You were single and alone when you came into this world. And you will be single and alone when you leave it. What's in between? Really, in the end, it really don't mean too much or nothing. Except sweet memories of somebody that walked the road with you for a certain period of time. It's better to be by yourself than in the company of a fool. With that said, jot down your comments. Let's talk about it. This is your brother, Talik Ibn Ra. This was and is the Reality's Temple on Earth.